Flowey, we're going through this again. Well, you guys are having your little powwow. I took the human souls. And now, not only are those under my power, but all of your friend's souls are gonna be mine too. <laughs> and you know what the best part is? It's all your fault. It's all because you made them love you. All the time you spent listening to them, encouraging them, caring about them. Without that, they wouldn't have come here. And now, their souls and the humans together, I will achieve my real form. <laughs> huh? Why am I still doing this? Don't you get it? It's all just a game. If you leave the underground satisfied, you'll win the game. If you win, you won't want to play with me anymore. And what would I do then? This game between us will never end. I'll hold victory in front of you, just within your reach. And then tear it away just before you grasp it. Over and over and over. <laughs> Listen. If you do defeat me, I'll give you your happy ending. I'll bring your friends back. I'll destroy the barrier. Everyone will finally be satisfied. But that won't happen. You. I'll keep you here no matter what. Even if it means killing you a million times! <laughs> afraid, my child. No matter what happens, we will always be there to protect you. That's right, human. You can win. Just do what I would do. Believe in you. Hey, human, if you got past me, you can do anything. So don't worry. We're with you all the way. Huh? You haven't beaten this guy yet? Come on! This weirdo's got nothing on you. Technically, it's impossible for you to beat him. But, somehow, I know you can do it. Human. For the future of humans and monsters, you have to stay determined. Holy crap! Unbelievable! This can't be happening! You... You... I can't believe you're all so stupid! All of your souls are mine! Oh... Oh god, what, what's going on now? Finally. I was so tired of being a flower. What? Howdy. Holtz, are you there? It's me, your best friend. Azrael Dreamer. Right into that one, and that one.
no. I don't care about destroying this world anymore. Wow, I screwed that one up. After I defeat you and gain total control over the timeline, I just want to reset everything. I'm not sure what to think of this. All your progress, everyone's memories. I'll bring them all back to zero. Okay, I didn't do too bad that time. I can do everything all over again. Best part of all this is you'll do it. And then you'll lose to me again. That was stupid. You want a happy ending. Yeah, who doesn't want a happy ending? Apparently you don't. Because you love your friends. Sooner or later, I'll get better at that. Preferably sooner rather than later, though. Because you never give up. Oh, I didn't expect that. that delicious? Your determination. The power that let you get this far. It's gonna be your downfall. Now enough messing around. It's time to purge this timeline once and for all. Heck, you're still standing in my way. Wow, you really are something special. But don't get cocky. Up until now, I've only been using a fraction of my real power. Let's see what good your determination is against this. What the f flippin' fuck is that? <laughs> Behold my true power. Well. Eh? But it re 
confused. You can feel it. Every time you die, your grip on this world slips away. Every time you die, your friends forget you a little more. Your life will end here in a world where no one remembers you. Okay, first of all, your multicolor sperm are really getting on my nerves. Still, you're hanging on. That's fine. In a few moments, you'll forget everything to do. Attitude will serve you well in your next life. What the hell is this? Still? Come on. Show me what good your determination is now. It's really hard for me to judge it when it's coming from the sides like that. Nothing happened. You struggle. Nothing happened. You tried to reach your save file. Nothing happened. You tried again to reach your save file. Nothing happened. Seems saving the game... It really is impossible. But... Maybe... With what little power you have... You can save something else. You reached out to Ezreal's soul and called out for your friends. They're in there somewhere, aren't they? From the depths of Ezreal's soul, something's resonating. The last soul appeared. and she sort of wants to smile back. All humans will die. Last soul stands there. You ask the last soul to teach you how to cook. She doesn't know why, but she kind of wants to teach you how. against the lost soul with all of your might. She recognizes your fighting spirit. Suddenly, memories are flooding back. Well, some humans are okay, I guess. I feel something faintly resonating with that Azrael. Uh, let's go for Papyrus next. Then the depths of Azrael's soul, something's resonating. Lost souls are here. He asked Lost Soul for help with a puzzle. He doesn't know why, but he really wants to help you. <laughs> Lost Soul stands there. Tell the Lost Soul a bad pun about skeletons. He seems to hate it, but the other Lost Soul seems to like it. soul to cook something for you. Lost soul is trying to hide his joy. Insult him. You insulted the lost soul. Suddenly, its memories are flooding back. Seeing how nicely you treated its brother, the other lost soul remembers too. No, wait! You're my friend! I can never capture you! Nah, I'm rooting for you, kid. Save Toriel! Lost Souls appear. Talk. Tell the Lost Soul that you have to go if you're going to free everyone. Something is stirring within her. <laughs> Refuse to fight the Lost Soul. Something about this is so familiar to her. Hug. You hug the lost soul and tell her that you're going to see her again. Something about this is so familiar to her. Tell 
lost so he could prefer butterscotch instead of cinnamon. Suddenly, her memories are flooding back. Seeing her remember you, the male's lost soul tried hard to remember you too. Soul, something is resonating. Alphys! Courage. Tell the lost soul that you'll continue to support her. Something about the way you said that is familiar to her. Of course, it's the meta ten hearts. Call. You call the lost soul on the phone. She starts to sweat. She doesn't know why, but this all seems very familiar. No doubt! That's the hustle what her favorite cartoon is. Suddenly, the memories are flooding back. No, that's not true! My friends like me! I'm not like you too! Oh, that was quick. Save someone else. Strangely, as your friends remembered you, something else began resonating within the soul stronger and stronger. It seems that there's still one last person that needs to be saved. But who? Suddenly you realize. You reach out and call their name. Uh huh. What are you doing? friend's souls resonating with the Nazrael. What did you do? What's this feeling? What's happening to me? No, no! I don't need anyone! Stop it! Get away from me! Do you hear me? I'll tear you apart! Yeah, you do that. God, even when he's not shooting out that many, I still suck. Holtz, do you know why I'm doing this? Why I keep fighting to keep you around? I'm doing this because you're special, Holtz. You're the only one that understands me. You're the only one who's any fun to play with anymore. not just it. I... I... I'm doing this because I care about you, Holtz. I care about you more than anyone else. <laughs> I'm not ready for this to end. I'm not ready for you to leave. I'm not ready to say goodbye to someone like you again. doing this and just let me win stop it stop it now that is an absurd decimal amount I'm so sorry. I always was a crybaby, wasn't I, Holtz? I know. You're not actually Holtz, are you? Holtz has been gone for a long time now. Um, what? 
What is your name? Frisk? That's... That's a nice name. Frisk. I haven't felt like this for a long time. As a flower, I was soulless. I lacked the power to love other people. However, with everyone's souls inside me, I not only have my own compassion back, but I can feel every other monster's as well. They all care about each other so much. And they care about you too, Frisk. I wish I could tell you how everyone feels about you. Papyrus, Sans, Indine, Alphys, Toriel. Monsters are weird. <laughs> Even though they barely know you, it feels like they all really love you. <laughs> Frisk, I, I understand if you can't forgive me. I understand if you hate me. I acted so strange and horrible. I hurt you. I hurt so many people. Friends, family, bystanders. There's no excuse for what I've done. What? Frisk, come on. You're... You're gonna make me cry again. Besides, even if you do forgive me, I can't keep these souls inside of me. The least I can do is return them. But first... There's something I have to do. Right now, I can feel everyone's hearts beating as one. They're all burning with the same desire. With everyone's power. With everyone's determination. It's time for monsters to finally go free. was destroyed. Frisk. I have to go now. Without the power of everyone's souls, I can't keep maintaining this form. In a little while, turn back into a flower. I'll stop being myself. I'll stop being able to feel love again. So, Frisk, it's best if you just forget about me, okay? Just go be with the people who love you. to let you go. Frisk, you're... You're going to do a great job, okay? No matter what you do, everyone will be there for you, okay? Well, my time's running out. Goodbye. By the way, Frisk, take care of Mom and Dad for me, okay? Frisk! This is all just a bad dream. Please, wake up. Oh, you're awake, thank goodness. We were so worried. It felt like you were out forever. Yeah, any longer and I would have freaked out. Tell us next time you decide to take a nap, okay? Yeah, you made Papyrus cry like a baby. What? I didn't cry! I don't cry! 
I just caught something in my eye. What did you catch? Tears! <laughs> no, no. The important part is that Frisk is alright. Here, Frisk. Why not drink some tea? It'll make you feel better. Uh, how about we give them space first? They must be very exhausted. Though, from what I'm not certain, Frisk, we don't even remember exactly what happened. There was a flower, and then everything went white. And now the barrier is gone. When you're ready, we will all return you to the surface. It seems the door to the east will lead us there now. But before then, perhaps you might want to take a walk? You can say goodbye to all of your wonderful friends. Do as you wish, we will all wait for you here. Should we go talk to everybody? Yeah, that was one thing I absolutely loved about Earthbound was the fact that after the final boss fight you can go back and talk to people and see what all has changed. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't sitting here with tears in my eyes already. Hi, lady. Sorry, we aren't allowing any more guests at this time. Or ever again. Sorry, the resort's shutting down, but I think you'll find it still great to pass through. Is Lady still here? So we're like, totally free now, huh? Yeah, like, totally free. Like, cool. Yeah, like, cool. Like, millennia of being in prison finally over? Yeah, that's like pretty chill, I guess. Oh, oops, really? Um, well, when we said, um, we were hyped for the destruction of humanity, we were just, like, joking. You know? Did we say that? Probably? It's, like, practically our catchphrase. Really? I thought our catchphrase was. Braddy's the best, Caddy's the coolest. Um, no? I've like literally never said that. Can it be though? Can it be? Hmm. Now that we're gonna be free. Oh my god, we can finally fulfill our dream of having a pet cat. That's like your dream, Caddy. But Braddy, I don't have a dream without you in it. Aw, Caddy. And in my dream, you clean up after the cat. Catty! Uh-oh. Brady, no! <laughs> I'm just kidding. Kind of. Anyway, when was the last time you even saw a cat around here? Oh, just the other day. Aren't you a cat? <laughs> There's this cute little white cat walking around. It was, like, so clueless looking. I pet it for like an hour. Caddy? Yeah, Braddy? I think that was, like, a dog. Dogs are just firm cats. <laughs> Dogs are just firm cats. <laughs> Oh 
god, this guy. So we're free, huh? Benetton told us as such. And he told me, don't think that means you're getting out of work early. Ah, uh, my boss. I love that guy. And by that I mean I hate him so, so much. <laughs> Those girls? Once you saw my pants fall down? Well, we're all gonna be free, so I'll never see them again, at least. Don't tell anyone this, little buddy. Because they'll make fun of me. But I... I feel like I played a hand in everyone getting free somehow. Even if it was just working this awful job. I think I did something. If you don't know... If I don't know if it's true, but I'll believe it anyway. Little buddy, there's a brand new world out there waiting for us. I'm sure with my <clears throat> qualifications, it won't be long before I'm a famous movie star. Or maybe I'll just end up flipping burgers again. But it's as I say, nowhere to go but up. Literally, in this case. That guy has issues. <laughs> it's a slime, I'm overjoyed. Um, are you guys on your way out? Guess I'll catch up with you later. Good news, the elevator started working again. And now it's been so busy, we still haven't gotten the chance to ride it. Oh, actually, um... Love, love. Now we can live life without reservations. Oh, I like that. It's a little digger mole from, uh, Earthbound. So if we're leaving, will my job... Uh, and I just got a raise. Well, I guess every apple has its core. <laughs> Surface world. Really? Maybe I'll be able to go two feet without running into a puzzle. <laughs> oh, ideally! Oh, we're all free? Oh. I guess I can stop licking this ficus. But I don't want to look like I messed up, so I'll keep going. Yeah, you, you, you do that. Don't go to England, demon dude. I want to go to England. Let's go to England. All of us, right now. Everybody watching. Dina told us that the Royal Guard is being disbanded. Like, bummer. I guess we'll have to get a, used to love and peace. He seems happy. Hey, uh, ice cream guy. I'm so excited to sell an ice cream on the surface. If all humans are like you, I think it will be a modest success. Metaton, you recognize my voice from when I called in and he... You gave me this dress! I'm so... <laughs> Wait, so... Metatons? Around here somewhere? Bonjour, dear! I just finished tallying up all of our donations. We finally raised enough to rescue all the spiders inside of the ruins. And we'll... Allo? <laughs> I think that's misspelling. We'll also be able to afford... A brand new bakery! Thank you so much, Siri! It's all because of you. Your money. <laughs> Thanks, Muffet. <laughs> Hi, Imagination Artists. We're just enjoying the, uh, the ending. The pacifist run. Say, do you ever really see him again in game, or is he just gone? On the surface, I won't buy any donuts from spiders. That's my resolution. Yeah, good luck with that. And it just occurred to me there's probably a quicker way of doing this. Oh well. 
gives us an excuse to stop by Muffet's. Guess we could see if Meta turns around. I guess he wouldn't be in here though, would he? It looks like it, doesn't it? Talk to this guy. Okay, okay, okay. I'll be able to have a nice drink on the surface. Temmies will actually say anything different too. The water is very dry today. Come again sometime. Now we can play monsters and humans with real humans! When humans play monsters and humans, do they just call it humans and humans? Seems like this is the beginning of a brand new, boundless world. <laughs> this adventurous spirit, I'm like a kid again. My children are like, double children. Wow, okay bud. Hey guy. Ice Wolf no longer has to throw ice. Ice Wolf can take a break to buy some pants now. <laughs> Yes, you go buy some pants, buddy. <laughs> oh? We're free? Finally! I'll be able to stop smiling. Looks like I don't have to worry about cracking jokes anymore. I was going to say a joke here, but I really don't have one. I wonder if the overworld has hot guys. And neat drinks. Ooh, I'm ready. Wait, I was talking to the plant guy, not you again. Soon I'll be able to try some human food. And then I guess I'll try a human bathroom, too. Hey, people won't have to move in from the city anymore. Seems like we won't have to lose our local culture. Except for all moving out of here, huh? Oh well, I guess it can't be all punk peaches and punk cream. Yeah. Good job. Thanks, Grilby. Nice that I have your, uh, yeah, support. Wow, a brand new world. I might not get to translate for Grilby anymore. Which is fine, since I actually was actually just making up what he was saying. In the end, I never caught any girls in my fishing line. So, kid, take it from me. Don't try to catch hot people with a fishing rod. Somewhere you hear a winning of despair. <laughs> it finally won a game of poker against itself. Good job, tiny dog. I heard Dr. Alphys told the king and queen the awful things she'd done. The king felt so bad he didn't know. He gave her a big hug. And then the queen fired her. <laughs> now we don't have a royal scientist anymore. That's politics! <laughs> Yo, what's up? I've been kind of doing some thinking. Maybe Undine isn't actually as cool as we thought. She's just kind of mean. But yo! I just found out someone. I uh, found out about someone way cooler. <laughs> oh god. It'd be nice to show humans our presence under the tree tradition. They'll probably be weirded out by it. That kid over there told me that it's weird that I have a pet bunny. First, there's there'd be nothing weird about it. It's cute. Second, what? It's normal to walk your younger brother on a leash, right? Uh, is anyone else weirded out by those giant shambling am amalgamates or?
Mom says that we can go to the surface world now. What's so great about that anyway? I don't want to move. Hello. Sorry. No time for a nap. Snowden is shutting down so we can all go to the surface. Hello, traveler. How can I help you? I mean, it happened to you, right? There was a strange flash of white light. Then I felt my body being pulled into something. And suddenly, everything was back to normal. I heard that it was all because a human came through here. A human. I can hardly believe it. Well, if they decide to stop in, I'll be sure to give them a hero's welcome. Did you hear? The ruins have been opened up. And get this. They were opened from the inside. Apparently the queen had been staying inside there for god knows how long. Pretty unbelievable, huh? Yeah, the tiny bar bunny is her brother. Well, I suppose I'll move my sword to the overworld. I haven't planned much more than that, I'm afraid. Good luck, bunny lady. I have faith in you. So do I want to go all the way back to the beginning, including the ruins? Understanding this correctly. All the way, okay. Oh, hey guys! Hmm, now that our parents are the same entity, does that mean I'm married to my sister? Wait, we're dogs. That stuff's normal. Oh god! Yes! Yes! <laughs> okay. All of our parents have been combined into one horrible being. That's okay, though. It's really brought our families together. Having an amorphous, shambling family member is great. They're always moving, so I can see them 100% of the time. Library. This is the last day we'll be open, so make as much noise as you want. Oh my, there's so much news to report, I don't know where to begin! How about this headline? Monsters go free from the underground. Nah, that doesn't have enough pizzazz. How about top 10 monsters you won't believe got free from the underground? This will be our newspaper's last issue. Why don't we just put a big V in on the front and call it a day? The greatest struggle of my life is over. I just solved today's crossword. <laughs> Good on you, buddy. Is the camera hidden in the trees here? Okay. Yeah, maybe someone on the surface will pay attention to me. There's so many people, someone has to, right? I wanna go in here really quick. Hey buddy! Everyone's leaving, eh? Good riddance. Maybe I'll finally get some peace and quiet. Harsh, dude. Oh, I can't go through that? For some reason I was thinking I could go through that.
free? Okay, okay. I'll stop lounging around. Does that dog know? It probably doesn't, does it? Good. Um, I might do that later, but right now, uh, no, I'm good. I'm good. Heh. <laughs> Guess I'll have to go to the surface. There are woods there we can live in, right? Of course. time you're still thinking about my hat. Please. Aw. It's a smashing hat, darling. <laughs> yeah, he tends to do that a lot. getting older. I'll stop being a teen. No, I refuse. I'll just invent new numbers, like 20 teen. I don't think that's how it works. <laughs> oh, believe me, dear. If that's how it worked, yeah. Oh, yeah, I don't wanna... I still have the snowman piece. my wife back from the dead. My son, he seems happy again. Our family, it's bigger than ever. Not that my wife is combined with 16 other people. Snowy. Mom might have to share her mind with other people now, but she's still my mom. And that's cool. Because, uh, we're made of ice and stuff. What? It's a joke! Laugh at it! You tried. <laughs> yeah, I'll put that in my inventory. Never mind, guys. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Back to where it all began. It's fine. Finally opened up. Maybe we should finally go out to the rest of the underground. Huh? Barriers open too? Let's just take this one step at a time, okay? <laughs> Ah, 
froggies. Ribbit, ribbit. Yellow names were nice for a while. Next time, we should try a relaxing shade of green. Relaxing shade of green. Did you ever find this room's fourth frog? Say, now that your journey's over, maybe you'll have time to listen to me. Since most people, most people just skip, uh, press X to skip through my dialogue. That's right, pressing X. You've really matured, haven't you? Is it random when the uh, fourth frog shows up? Hmm. Oh, I shouldn't see the spiders. Hey guys. Seven? Guess I better roll out. Hey, you mind giving me a push pumpkin? 